it's really great to connect with all of you um, who participated in the ADC Game of Learners. And I did have a look at the projects and the videos. It was so much fun. And, and, and clearly you guys learned a lot and, and had a great time, you know, participating in the event. Healthcare is a big thing in, in, in Africa right now. Um, well, it has been for a while, access to healthcare. It's just that now that with COVID, it has actually created that impetus to discover new technology solutions, new sort of, as we call them in Kenya, Jua Kali type um, products and services that are able to address, you know, an influx of people who would get sick. But, you know, traditionally it has been an, an issue in, in Africa. And the fact that all of you understood that and created, you know, technology products that can address, whether it's remote healthcare management, whether it's, um, you know, um, consultants being able to log in and, and, and do diagnosis, you know, it has all been good. And, and, and like I said, you know, we see it as a huge potential area as Microsoft and would like to invest quite a bit of work and effort in terms of seeing what are the new sustainable methods in uh, healthcare. Um, you guys just showed us that, you know, the young generation, the innovators, you know, the university, university students know that it's also a priority area and can harness the technologies that they have or have access to and build solutions for, for the industry. So whatever support we can give you to continue learning, you know, um, our, the CEO of Microsoft says he's a lifelong learner, a continuous learner, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll learn it all instead of a know it all. So, so we, we inculcate that culture, not only within Microsoft, but also to the ecosystems where we're represented. This is just not the only initiative we are running as ADC or as Microsoft in, in Kenya. There's several other initiatives we're running. Maybe not all of them are ADC. Some of them are perhaps geared by other organizations, but it's a, it's a one Microsoft approach. Keep up that spirit and 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 and, I'm, and, and this is not the last of, of what of our engagement. We will continue engaging with you throughout you know your career and, and hopefully you at some point, you know, we when, when COVID is over, we can all have a meetup together and um and, and have a face-to-face -face, uh time as, as, as a team congratulations to all of you for those who participated and congratulations to those who won on the different categories and i'm really proud of all of you thank you hi there my name is abaladi gladigashi and on behalf of microsoft i want to say congratulations to all the teams that have participated in our first game of learners um, experience um, these past few weeks. Now, when we think about Microsoft, our mission is really about empowering people, empowering all the people in the world to do the things that they need to do. And in our team, you know, we want to always be at the forefront of empowering people. Game of Learners, you know, really is about that. It's about as participants, you know, having the opportunity and doing the work and going through the experiences um, to not only have an impact, you know, on the world, a real and a relevant impact on the world, you know, but also um, to grow in our ability, you know, to make that impact come to life as a team. The learning that we're speaking about is not just learning about technology, it's also learning about each other and learning about how we work together, you know, to have each and every one, you know, of our capabilities, you know, our talents, you know, our approaches, you know, come together, you know, and solve something, you know, that is special. Solve it, you know, not just because it's innovative, but because of the approach that we have you know, is unique. Now, we're now at the end of that um, experience, you know, as a set of teams. Um, but as they say, you know, the end is just a new beginning, you know, and so as you move forward, you know, we really want to encourage each and every one of you to take what you've learned in this game of learners, you know, and to bring what you've learned, you know, not just from a technical point of view, but from the point of view of how you work well together, you know, and what it takes for you to come together to solve problems, you know, to solve problems in a way that is relevant, meaning, you know, they matter and make an impact in the society around us, you know, that are innovative, you know, meaning we're, we're doing something, you know, new, you know, and helpful, you know, using, you know, uh, our unique approach. Um, and, you know, in many ways, you know, uh, most importantly, you know, that, you know, is accessible. 
the meaning that those who, for whom we are building those things can actually use them. That's what Game of Learners is about. And that's what we want you to continue to build on, you know, and um, celebrate, you know, as you move forward. The impact and the teamwork. Thanks all very much. And hello, hello, everyone. So I'm generally known as someone that has so much energy that it's as if I've drank a lot of caffeine. So I'm going to give you some of that energy that I have. What I want from everyone is turn on all your cameras, please, so I can see everybody. I want to see everyone on the camera. Yay! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, it's good to see everybody. That's so awesome. We are finally at the end of our GOL journey. Let's celebrate together. So get up, do whatever you need to do, your celebratory dance. You dance, you turn around like this or something. Do your authentic dance. You are all winners because you learned a lot in this short period of time. But beyond that, I see a lasting self-confidence that can only be achieved by going through an intense challenge and coming out of it alive. All right. So all of you that have participated in this, you can feel that within yourself. No different than an athlete that that condition with their teammates together to pull off a great season. You have created comradeship that will last you beyond this program. I just want you to feel proud of yourself that you've made it. I want to see tapping on your on your back. Job well done. And let's get into the award ceremony. Over to you, Lydia. Thank you so much Ruth for all the energy you've impacted in us. You can feel that this this meeting is so lively now. We are so energetic. I can see some people are nervous. It's it's okay to be nervous and I uh, know the hearts are beating. We want to see the winners and now the moment is here. The team that won the hearts of Kenyans, the team that won the People's Choice Award for the Game of Learners program year, year 2020 is Congratulations, congratulations to Ms. for getting so many votes online. I'm sure you shared with all your friends and they all voted and they all supported you and the public felt that your team did really well for the Game of Learners team. Ms. Zizi is represented by the color gray, as you can see even from their t-shirts, led by Julia, who is a Microsoft Student Ambassador. Congratulations to Julia and your team. We have Newton, Sandra, Collins, and Esther, all from various universities in Kenya. Congratulations for winning the People's Choice Award. As you all know, Game of Learners was not just a hackathon that was happening virtually. We actually had a Game of Learners show that was running on YouTube. And um, for us to produce the Game of Learners show, we were requesting for videos from you as the participants. We were requesting for photos. We were working with a video agency and we were working on a timeline because the videos had to go online every Tuesday. I want to introduce to you the best media presence, the team that had the best videos. And that team is <laughs> Team Tribal! Thank you so much, Team Tribal. Okay. I see even now you're still making our meeting fun, led by Ayan from Strathmore University, who is also a Microsoft Student Ambassador. Thank you so much, Team Tribal, for all the cool videos that you did for us. We really enjoyed um, your content and 
thank you so much for all the collaboration that you showed throughout the program and for making the game of learners show such a success and you also made it made the show very interesting so congratulations everyone ayan isaac kamlas naomi and sharon at this point i am going to to bring back ruth who is going to take us through how the judging process was introduce the judges to us and also tell us who the winner for the game of learners 2020 will be i want to introduce to you the judges that we handpicked for this. The judges that we have here is a compilation of, of judges from different organizations within Microsoft. We have Will and Tiffany from the research site. We have Wanjiko and uh, Steven from the global sales and marketing operations site to, you know, to think about the business side of things. Um, and we have Mwenda, Jackie and Felix from the engineering side. So to, to go over the technical uh, side of things of your, of your project. So I would like to take this moment first before we announce the winner to thank the judges for all the time that they put into this. They didn't just watch your pitches. They went through your demos. They went through your code. They went through your, your business side of your, uh, of your project. So thank you judges. So for me, I think um, RMD was the most impressive for me. They had a bit more of a holistic approach into how, how many technologies they use. My choice for top will have to be MediChap, uh, mostly because uh, I feel like their product is the easiest to scale quickly, if I may, if I may put it that way, in the sense that um, you could pick it and place it anywhere in the world. It could be... Uh, uh, it could be like amongst you could I could take it from Nairobi and take it to Rwanda and onboard several health care centers at the same time and it should pick up and and go immediately and um, on basis of what kind of product would probably pick up just about in your globally I go with Medijump. yeah I will also go with uh, RMD they were able to articulate the problem statement very well and especially now if you look at the the current situation we are facing in uh, in Kenya with covid and all that so there's a lot of uh, mental illness uh, going on in the country and uh, not many people have been able to address it my my, my number one for me was medichap um, I ranked them that way uh, because uh, for one, for I, I found they went um, ahead to show a lot of uh, breath in terms of how they implemented it. I went with MediChat. There was a simplicity in what they were doing in some, to some extent, leveraging um, technology that as long as you had a smartphone and that is definitely a, um, or, you know, some sort of smart device, I should say, um, is, is one of the things that I think it is a bit of a barrier, but um, I still felt like that was a very universal approach um, uh, in terms of being available on it to anybody who, who had that type of, who had a, basically a web, web browser. My winner is Remdy for, mul for a few reasons. I think that they, if I were to think about the solutions that were presented from the various students that had the best kind of go to market and scale potential, Remdy definitely wanted from having a clear tr uh, challenge space uh, laid out, having a clear solution, target market and go to market strategy. Now it comes to what I started uh, breaking down as uh, what to break the tie is the inclusivity in terms of the solution offered, right? I feel that um, the MediChap guys did a really good job, uh, but um, their, their barrier to entry was slightly high because considering we're in Kenya and Africa, um, you know, you'll find a market that they can really uh, capture are people with smartphones, right? Or have at least internet access. So Team RemD going that extra mile to provide for uh, people who do not have access to the internet uh, or, or um, you know, have feature phones, which is really, really something that you find uh, is really, you know, uh, rampant in, in, in the area where we are in right now. I think that extra thought really puts them ahead of the rest.
has been a very interesting experience for me. I learned a lot from the mentors, from my teammates. Yeah, so I, I am extremely happy. We had a dream when we began Remdi, and um, GOL was um, a very good platform for us to showcase what we could do. And we really would like us to, uh, basically as a team, would really like to actually move forward with the project, actually monetize it and uh, see how it, it goes. So we have all the aims, all the dreams, and all the intentions of monetizing the project. And we really do hope that RMD will be the hospital of the future, as we said. I'm really grateful we got to be the winners of GOL. I'm really grateful for our lead, Josh, because he's... He guided us really well and uh, I learned a lot. I'm really, really grateful for Microsoft providing us with such an opportunity to learn and grow our skills because I think what I learned during this one month would have taken me almost up to six months to learn as a developer. So I'm so, 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 so happy about the progress I've made actually as far as learning is concerned and also the facilitation that enabled us to be able to do our work the solar panels and the MiFi made our work so much more efficient. So thank you to Microsoft for this program and for their support. It was a learning experience for everyone and much of what I love is like we were able to learn and also implement. And so yeah, I'm really happy that my team was able to do all of this because we work together as a team and our mentors really came through from the first time we showed them up, we explained our idea and what we are working on. They gave us ideas and each and every idea they gave out to us, we really implemented them. And we are so happy that they were there until the last minute, some hours before submission. Paul was there and he was like, Tell, he, he told us, do this and this before your presentation. And like, wow, it, he, they really helped us. We are really so grateful to Paul and Faustin for your support.